Hello, today's devotional can be found on the top the topical guide to the scriptures under the word give, gave, and given. And it can be found in Genesis chapter 3 verse 12 or Moses chapter 4 verse 18. She gave me of the tree and I did eat. Okay, so this is talking about when Adam and Eve were found to have taken of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And they are responding to being caught. And Adam could have simply just left Eve with all the blame, but like a grown up, he took responsibility for what he did. He said, yes, she offered me the choice and I did choose it. And so it is with us. We are offered choices every day, but we have the right whether or not we choose to go through with making those choices. We have our agency. Nobody can physically force us to do something that we don't want to do. We can fight emotionally, physically. Even not giving in with our will. Even if we are physically incapable of fighting back, if we don't give in with our will, if it is against our will, we are still using our agency. And the Lord knows our heart. So if we are physically incapable of defending ourselves, we can defend ourselves through our, the will of our heart. And we will not be seen as terrible people if we don't give in with the will of our heart when something goes beyond our control. Using our agency responsibly is part of the generosity that we should show ourselves because if we use our agency responsibly, we will learn and grow and have blessings beyond what we can comprehend. If we try and do nothing to resist any choices that are being made for us, then we have given in and we are not being generous to ourselves. I mean, if our heart gives into something that is being forced upon us, then we have given in. We have chosen to allow this to happen to us. In terms of consent, if we simply allow others to make the choice for us without even having the will to fight back in our hearts, then we have simply chosen that way. Sometimes we physically can't fight back when something happens. Sometimes we emotionally can't fight back. But our heart shows our true intent. And if we allow our heart into a situation that is beyond our control, if we allow our heart to cross those boundaries of what, of what we know is right and good and moral, then we are making the choice to just simply treat it as a moment that we are allowing. If we fight with all our will and might, even in our hearts, if our heart does not want to give in, then we are being generous to ourselves. And we are telling the Lord that we do not want this, but it is happening. And we cannot physically stop it, but we don't want it. And the Lord will bless us for not allowing our heart to give in. Pains and sufferings and miseries come to us all. But if we keep our heart afloat, if we keep it strong with the Spirit of the Lord, if we keep it strong and determined to do the right, even if it's physically beyond our control, we shall be blessed and protected. Our hearts make a lot of our are responsible for making a lot of our decisions. 
Life is so very short. <clears throat> and our heart is the reason why we make many of the decisions that we make. Are, and our heart is why we put ourselves in situations a lot of the time. When our heart speaks, we need to be accountable for it. Because we allow our heart to lead us a lot of the time. We don't use common sense simply because we feel that our heart will always lead us to something good. But our heart does have the ability to go after passions when they may not be the best thing for us. Opportunities will come. Life will give us opportunities and it's up to us whether or not we partake. And we know what's right and wrong. We know it in our heart, in our mind, in our soul, but sometimes our heart has desires to give in to passion right away. And so we partake without thinking of the consequences of doing what we are doing. And we are not generous to ourselves or to the worth that we have as children of God. We have to be careful about what we do with the opportunities that life offers us. Because not all are good and our hearts may want something so badly that it'll trick us into thinking that it's okay when it's not. And we may put ourselves in a precarious situation and then lose connection to the spirit simply because our heart tricked us into thinking that we needed it now when we could have waited for a better opportunity. Our heart is funny. We have to make sure that the spirit is speaking to us and how we can tell if it's from the spirit or if it's from Satan, what does it compel us to do? What does our heart compel us to do? If it compels us to do something we know is wrong, we need to avoid it. But if it compels us to do something that is morally correct, and that will help us and help others to be able to grow and learn, we ought to do it. But we have our agency. We have that right to choose for ourselves. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.